Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, this so is a Pinnacle yeah. Combat 25 amateur fight. It's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It's being brought to you by Top Notch Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a wrestler, standing five foot nine, 125 pounds, with nine wins and one loss. Training with Conquest MMA and Lions. Uh, you can correct that, or I'll correct that on the. From okay. Clinton, Iowa, Damon Dan. And fighting out of the red corner. He's a freestyle fighter, standing five foot six, 125 pounds. Training with Dubuque Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, with one win and four losses. From Dubuque, Iowa, Patrick Esbell. Welcome to Pinnacle Combat 25. Rob Spangler in the broadcast booth, to my right, we have uh, our good buddy Drew Rails back, and Drew, we are ready to kick off another Pinnacle Fight card. This might be the best one Harry's put together yet. This is the best one we put together. And just to correct uh, correct him in the cage there, this is Damon's debut. He was 0-0, and, and uh, they did announce it wrong, saying that he was 9-1. and so They got a little bit of a scramble going on here already. Yeah, Damon Dan trying to control on top. He's got the black Reebok compression trunks. Uh, Patrick Asbell in the blue shorts underneath right now. Damon's training out of uh, Clinton, Iowa at a very good gym. Uh, he's got uh, Mark Kilberg in his, in his corner right now, and Mark's a very good coach. And um, Pat is training out of Dubuque Jiu-Jitsu, so uh, he's going to be very comfortable on his back. Those guys know what they're doing. Once again, trying to get up here is Asbel onto his feet. Nice knee to the side of the leg there by Damon Dan. It looks like he may be trying to set up a Kimura here. I'm not, no, and he gave it up. And he Another takes him down take again. down by Dan, yeah. Damon Dan controlling the pace here early in round one. Of course, amateur fights, this is our first fight of the night. It's an amateur bout. Uh, this will go three rounds, and uh, we're already under the two minute mark here of round number one. And for this being his debut, Damon is looking very comfortable. He's calm, he looks pretty poised in there. Um, doesn't look like a debut for him, no, does it? No, it does not. A he's, lot of training to get that comfortable, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's, uh, he's breathing very well. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with what I'm seeing so far. He's good, good top control, good pressure. Yeah, he's really got a lock hold on Patrick Asbell right now. Asbell not able to do much, really. Did get up once. We'll see if he's able to wall walk off the cage again. Once again, Damon Dan in the black Reebok compression shorts here. Asbel does look comfortable off his back too, though. He's not hes not panicking, he's staying calm. He's trying to shrimp out of it. Um, he, well, you know this, Drew. Some fighters actually like to fight from their back, which goes against common sense for a lot of people, but some guys are comfortable that way. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, and I, I enjoy fighting off my back. Um, I feel like I'm able to give give people a lot of a lot of trouble when I did fight and uh, it looks like Pat's trying to wall walk here again starting to squeeze his way out as Bell back to his feet another knee to the uh, side of the thigh there by Dan throwing in a couple knees he's, he's digging for that he's trying to dig for that underhook 28 seconds left here in round number one. So this first round flying by these two amateurs putting on a pretty good show. Yeah, like I said, they're both pretty calm and poised. And another takedown by Damon Dan. Dan That's his third one of the round. Yep. I guess if you're scoring it, you give Dan points for control and yep. the takedown, certainly. Yeah, may, not necessarily a whole lot of damage, but he's definitely controlled the round. Gotten a couple, uh, again, knees to the leg, and there we go, round one in the books. Very competitive first round. And yeah. you and I were talking about this, Drew, before the fights started here tonight. Uh, we're, of course, at the Mystique Community Ice Center, the uh, ice rink in town, which is kind of a neat venue for a fight like this. Yeah, this we can a, feel we're at an ice rink. This is the second time Harry has uh, done one of his pinnacle fights here at the Mystique Community Ice Center. Yep. And when you, you and I were talking about amateur fights and how a lot of times these will be over with pretty quick. Uh, this one, though, you get the feeling these two guys have trained hard, and uh, they're not your typical amateurs. They're, uh, they're you know, 
pretty seasoned, and uh, especially you mentioned Damon Dan. I mean, this is a debut fight for him. He he doesn't look like a guy who's just you know getting out there for the first Definitely time. Definitely not, and that's a testament to his gym. He he trains at a very good gym. As you said, Damon Dan, he's out of Clinton, Iowa. Uh, he was a high school and collegiate wrestler, so again, looks pretty comfortable on the ground. And uh, you know, looking at you know some of the people he looks up to, he's a big fan of uh, Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse, Matt Hughes. Those are a couple of his uh, big influences. He's got uh, he's got a local hero in his gym actually, and he's fighting tonight the uh, lightweight champion, current lightweight champion Eric Wisely. Yeah, and Wisely is a fun, fun fighter. I've had a the pleasure to call several of his fights and boy he is he's a dynamite fighter so we look forward to that later tonight on the card we're ready round two underway a little inside leg kick by Dan going again. forward again he's got to be careful reaching those hands out like that though Damon Dan again in the black compression shorts We've got Patrick Asbell in the blue shorts nice leg kick there by Pat we'll stand up action here to begin round two Another leg kick, nice uh, overhand exchange there by Asbel. Front kick down the middle by Damon. Ooh, those those shin to shins, I don't like seeing that. No. That that hurts. Well, I've seen some bad things happen when that happens too. Good Just, leg kick by Pat. Yep. Damon's That's shooting for the takedown again. It doesn't look like Pat's gonna be able to defend it. No, and once again, Dan on top and assuming control here. We'll see if Asbel trying to squeeze out again. He's trying to wall walk again, but if he's gonna do that, he's gotta dig for that underhook before he starts to wall walk. And now getting in a few shots to the lower, small of the back. Now a couple shots to the face there. And he passed, uh, Damon Ooh. passed the mount. That was he's a pretty good shot mount right now. Left hand, this time he's throwing in right-handed blows. And now he's got He's still got mount. He was trying to transition to the back. Oh, now he's going to ground and pound and pound away. Here we go. Pretty good position here for Damon Dan to tee off. Asbel trying to cover up. Hard, hard shots here by Boy. Damon. Trying to cover up, trying to dodge. Asbel's surviving at the moment. With this being an amateur fight with fighter safety, the the ref's more likely to call call fights like that. They'll let that go on the professional level. But as soon as someone eats several unanswered shot, shots, the, uh, the ref will usually start to call the fight. Good job on Asbel, though. Yeah, he is working, and he worked back to, to uh, full guard here. Able to tie is, up Damon Dan now. He is breathing a little heavy. Pat is. And Dan trying to free up his uh, arms to get some he's, shots He's in. trying to set up a triangle here. Uh, but he doesn't have the, the arm isolated on that. He's trying to fi fish it out right now. And it looks like Damon's going to pass into side control. Under 30 seconds left here in round number two. And there looks like Pat's going back to full guard here, maybe half guard. So this round just about in the books, and uh, I give, even though Damon Dan has certainly dominated this round, I yeah. give Asbel credit for surviving. It yeah. looks like he's going to get to round number he's three. He's showing a lot of heart, definitely. He's showing that he's, uh, he's a game opponent, and I knew that I knew that when we put him on this card, that he's, uh, he's a tough guy. And there we are. So two rounds in the book, our third and final round in this uh, amateur fight. The uh, first fight of the night for Pinnacle Combat 25 coming up. I think in this third round, we're, we'll probably see a little bit of desperation from Pat. Not slot, not necessarily being sloppy, but I think he knows and his corner knows that he's probably down two rounds for this one. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Round one, close, but still Damon Dan certainly controlled as we talked about with the takedowns. And then round two, certainly Dan almost got the finish when he was on top, here it is. Some highlights of the ground and pound. Got some pretty good shots in. Again, Asbel, though, was able to survive it. Was yeah. able to, uh, you know, avoid, you know, basically losing the fight right there. I give him a lot of credit for that. He got, he was in, uh, he got fully mounted there, and then he worked out of it twice um, and was able to recover his guard. So that that's a testament to the Butte Jiu-Jitsu and what, what those guys are doing there. And a testament to not panicking, right? You get yep. in that type of situation, yep. your mind can panic, and that's when it's over. And he didn't. He stayed calm found a way out. 
Down number three, just about ready to get underway here. Great fight to uh, kick off again what Drew and I feel is maybe the best pinnacle fight card we have seen. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, on the whole amateur card and then the, the whole pro card, it's, it's pretty stacked. And here we go for the third round. Third round underway. Overhand exchange there, and now Dan looking for the takedown again. Nice little trip by Damon. Again on top of Asbel. And Pat is trying to he is trying to recover his guard. He's got half guard right now. He may try and go for a for a lockdown. We'll see what he tries and do, tries to do here. And he's back to full guard. Body shot there by Dan. Basically, what, what Pat wants to try and do here is he wants to try and scoot towards the cage because that's what he would use to, to walk up and eventually get to his feet. Of course, Dan trying to create a little bit of yeah, separation. Yeah, he, try, he, try, he was trying to set up a triangle there, um, and he gave it up. Yeah, and he's tried that a couple times here in this fight unsuccessfully. And Asbel just hanging on. He did open. He did open his guard up. I think he's going to try and wall walk here. We'll see what he tries to do. Dan's doing a very good job of control, though. Uh, he's got. It looks like he's creating a lot of pressure um, on top of Pat, not letting him get up. Absolutely. Approaching the minute and a half mark here in round number three of three. First fight of the night, Pinnacle Combat 25 from the Mystique Community Ice Center in Dubuque. You can see Pat's getting a little red on his side there. Damon's uh, Damon's been using a lot of body shots on the ground, and that'll wear that'll wear you know your opponent down pretty quick. Those body shots add up. But not that not that anything's in doubt. Here we go. And uh, Damon's taking his back here. He's got one hook in. He he's probably going to want to try and feed that other hook in, or he may try and uh, and flip him over and pass him to pass him out. We'll see what he does here. Trying to like set up a choke. To, yeah, I was yeah. going to say he's trying to get the rear naked in, but no avail. Asbel again survives, rotates around. Well, all be. I was not expecting to see that face. The one and only Justin Taylor shows up. He, oh, he's visiting. Okay. Yeah, he's got a beer in his hand, and uh... <laughs> oh, he'll he will work. Uh, we do actually actually have an extra set of headphones if you want to strap Damon those Damon does boys have to be on. a little careful here. Pat does have the head. Yeah, this is a little unsafe guillotine choke. There's right uh, there's only 10 seconds left though. I don't know if he's going to be able to finish it. I think Dan's going to be able to hold off here. Yeah, this is where you just gotta again gotta ride this out and. He does. Wow. Okay. That was dangerous. And yeah. look at that. Asbel, I mean, he knew he was this close to pulling off the come too, from behind a win. A little too late by him. A little bit too late. I think if he would have sunk that sh that choke with uh, with about a minute left, he might have been able to finish it. You could see. Uh, yeah, it was wearing. There's no doubt. Here's yeah. the replay. You could see Damon wincing a little bit there with the last five seconds on the, on the clock. Yep. No, this should be quick for the yeah. judges. To Shouldn't be anything con controversial or. A lot of credit here goes to uh, to Pat, though. He showed a lot of heart in this fight. Um, Absolutely, was and in some again, tough spots. And I'll tell you what, he almost pulled it out. Yep, almost pulled the pulled the rabbit out of the hat with the last uh, 20 seconds. So, like right. I said, I think if he would have locked that up with about a minute to go, he might have finished it. Well, let's get the decision from our ringside announcer. Here's Dean Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, in this Pinnacle Combat Amateur Flyweight Fight, we go to the scorecards after going a full three rounds. First, Judge Fran Beshin scores the fight 30-27, Dan. Judge Pete Hankles scores the fight 30-27, Dan. And Aaron Powers. Scores the fight 30-27, and your winner, Damon Dan. No surprise, Damon Dan victorious in three rounds. This one went the distance.